Hi, I'd like to talk about a very unique project that we're working on. Um, mostly it's because of the scheduling and the, and the coordination of the project. It's the Aldera Clubhouse in Sammamish, Washington. It's a golf club and we have decided, we've worked together with the uh, management of the, pro of the property to give it a strong go on three days when they're gonna be doing maintenance fall airification. And so we've coordinated this for months. We've come early. Uh, all those come early to pressure wash. We've had our carpenter come and do a bunch of repairs and we're gonna try to get uh, all of this knocked out in three days. Um, I'd like to introduce Aldo. Aldo's been a crew lead working with us since 2008. Yep. 2009. So, so what are the challenges of this job in the planning? Um, in the planning as far as um, when we were pressure washing, you know, they had people, you know, playing golf and stuff. So that was the, the first thing. Uh, I see that uh, today there's you know no people around, so that's gonna give us a uh, you know, good, you know, clean project to work with, and uh, that way we're not in the way of anybody. Uh, we got a um, um, a lift, a boom lift that was gonna help us uh, mask a lot of the gutters and some of the eaves, and uh, but it's a pretty straightforward job. You know, it's all white. Uh, it's going to be a lot of masking for the first uh, two days, and the third day is going to be all spraying and demasking. Besides the, ske besides the scheduling, this is stuff we do all the time, right? Yeah, it is. And okay. it's beautiful around here, so... It is? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you, Aldo. Yeah, thank you. I'll let you get to work. The club opened in 2001. That's how old the clubhouse is. So this is its first main repaint cycle. And for the most part, most of the building held up pretty well over 18 years. It was a pretty good paint job. Uh, there's... Uh, the expected failures on some of the exposed substrates. Um, there's a flat roof on top of the building. The siding up there is not in very good shape. As far, I'm sorry, the painting, the paint has come off the siding and the paint is not in very good shape. The wood is in pretty good shape, uh, especially the clapboard siding where the water ran down, is able to run off the building. Um, most of the carpentry repairs that we had were brick molds, trim, uh, trim where there's water entry points. Um, we had our carpenter come in about a month ago, start doing those repairs. He had to do a little investigating, sniffing around to find out exactly where the damage was. But we work on a lot of older buildings like this, so it, it happens all, always in the same spot. South elevation, window sills, uh, areas that are exposed. So we go to those areas, um, you know, the usual suspects, and we did our repair work. So today we, uh, is, our, is our first kickoff day. Uh, the day after Memorial Day, club is totally closed to the membership. Uh, they're doing airification on the golf course, so there's a little bit of staff near the building. Most of the work is, is being done on the golf course itself. So we have the building to us, and we've uh, been planning for this for months. So let's take a look at what we got going. It's uh, not, not a very tall building, um, but we did decide to get a man lift. Uh, one, because we're in a very, very condensed schedule to get this done. So. Um, we have a, uh, a lot of the building has these dormers that are almost set right into the roof line and the roof line has shingles and we don't want to get any paint on the shingles so as opposed to working on ladders we got a man lift, an articulating man lift in order to get to those areas um, so we can not have to put ladders on the roof. Here's our lift right here, it was, it was sent to us this morning. Oh, let's go through here. This is, so this is a very front, if you've ever been to the clubhouse, um, over here is where uh, golfers come drop off their equipment. They, this, is, this is where the club, uh, the pro shop is, the dining room, locker room. So this is the main area where people are kind of walking around. Um, this is the practice ground over here. Practice putting green. But this is the area where most of uh, most of the guests and members um, actually physically see the building up close most of the time. So a couple weeks ago, we came and pressure washed the building. That's why you see uh, you see some water stains here. Um, that dark stuff is tannin. It's the oil from the wood. We didn't wash directly on the uh, on any of the window casings, but we got water all over the place. So every Every water entry point um, got a little bit of moisture in there. If tannin is bad, we use a, a stain blocking primer. 
we intend to use a higher sheen on these high traffic areas. These doors get handled. So we're going with a little bit higher sheen and the same color for all the doors around the building. It's not happening right now, but if you look up at the soffits, uh, these were original soffits. They have a little bit different color than, than when they were installed. I, I've, looked, I've taken a look at photographs from the original build. They've darkened a little bit. Uh, they've never been treated. Um, so they're darkened a little bit by ultraviolet radiation and definitely have water stains on them. And the water stains, uh, so if you get up close, these water stains are just from moisture getting behind. And in the winter months, it's very cold. There's very high level, uh, high level of humidity and uh, probably the humidity well, it's probably wet on those wood soffits for weeks on weeks in a row in uh, December, January, February, where the temperatures may not get above 50 degrees, 55 degrees for weeks at a time. Um, so it's a very wet environment. It's a little bit of the carpentry work we did. This is a, uh, a combination wood and metal railing cap. Uh, these, these caps were, were rotten, so had our carpenter replace them. We're going to prime and paint. This is metal. This is wood. Um, one of the objectives we have on a, on a paint job is to get paint where it's supposed to be and not get paint everywhere else. So this is a very, very, very nice copper downspout. We don't want to get any... Yeah, I noticed that too. So it's overspray. And who knows when that happened, but we don't want that to happen on our watch. Let's go around the building. Um, as you see, all, all the gutters are copper gutters. We don't want... We don't want any paint on this. Not getting paint on, onto like copper gutters is not a skill, it's just diligence. Um, paying attention, focusing on the basics, which is site protection. See, this is one of the services that, that, we, wanted, that we wanted the lift for, right here. If you look down, this is a service entrance for uh, the golf carts that are used at the club. And we certainly can work off of ladders, but because again, as our time scheduling is condensed, we want to be able to get it all done, get the club back to the membership so they can enjoy it with a fresh new paint job. So we go around, we start seeing some of the carpentry repair that our carpenter worked on. So right up here, You can kind of tell what was replaced. There's the light stuff, the white, the white, white painted wood that's original, and then all the dark stuff that we've dug everything out that was failing and repainted it. So in our, in our prep stage, building's been washed. We're gonna go back, scrape all the loose paint to a sound substrate, caulk all the water entry points, prime, oil-based primer. It's bright. Our crew has started on this side of the building. Uh, as you can see, there's a, a foundation that we don't want to get paint on. So we started our protection work right here. Duct tape, stuff works really, really well. A lot of times we use duct tape on the concrete and stone and then we put t we use our regular masking on top of it. We don't want it to blow away and blow paint everywhere. So the site looks good. We have um, caulk tape, prep materials, drop cloths, um, fall protection equipment, 
garbage bags, rags, charger for the drill. Looks like every other job site that we typically have. Oh, look, almost us. By the way, this is, this is hole number one at Aldera. Uh, typical Fazio hole where it looks harder than it actually is. Um, it's a driver or three wood if you're long, par four, pit between the bunkers. The pins in front, it's easy. If it's in back, it's hard. False front. So this is what we consider the back side of the clubhouse, even though it faces the uh, hole number one. And uh, right now what you see is um, we're just masking the roof line, masking the window, preparing for our prime and paint, which we're gonna be starting tomorrow. In addition to the clubhouse, um, the superintendent here, Sean Rayhorn, is in, in charge of all the barns and they keep all their equipment. They have lots of equipment here. And anyway, Sean and his staff have been very instrumental in helping us get ready for this project. One of the things they've done is we, uh, when we have our estimator come, we, we're always looking at um, what things we're gonna ask our, our customers to work on. And so this elevation, we have a lot of shrubs. They've actually cut back a lot of these shrubs from what it was just a couple months ago. Typical protection of our uh, copper downspouts. That's a goal of mine is not to not get any paint on the copper. We, we had found some repair work on this side of the, on this elevation. Where's it at here? You actually found that it was sound. Okay. Okay, so he, fill, he filled the gap, okay. He scraped it all, found it was sound wood. Great. This is sort of the balcony area where uh, members um, enjoy lunch and dinner, drinks after a round, before a round. And our crew hasn't got, got uh, hasn't worked their way around to begin the masking off. Protection. Protecting these substrates that are not being painted. Superintendent selected a, uh, this is pretty white white. And as you can tell, see this prefabricated window? That's pretty white. The white next to it is pretty white. So we went with a warmer color. We presented some options uh, to the decision makers and they decided to go with OC17, which is a Benjamin color. It's a little breezeway around, around the side of the club, front of the club. If you look down at, uh, you know, it's, there's a grade down here. Um, so we have to be careful when we're walking, when we're staging ladders. Take all that into consideration. It takes longer to do a building where you have to work slowly around, uh, but we always want to work safely. We're painting all the metal, all the wood, basically everything that's not vinyl or plastic. It's gonna get another coat of paint. We have a lot of columns and we have a lot of concrete here. I don't wanna get any paint on that. I know that I'm a, uh, I know that I'm mentioning that on this video a lot, that I don't like to get paint anywhere. I don't have to say that to my painters because they all know. It's the first thing they learn when they get trained at our company is uh, site protection. You know, we're really glad to be on this project. Um, I'm honored to be selected to restore this building uh, and to maintain it for years to come.